This will destroy the narcissist. This will hurt them. This will defeat them. When you ignore or reject the narcissist, it destroys them. Because they thrive off your attention and energy. It's like taking away their life support. They never thought that you would walk away from them. That's why they targeted you. But when you finally decided you've had enough. It destroys them. It destroys their delusional sense of significance and importance. And now they either have to make more of an effort with you. Or look for someone else. Which is something they don't want to do. They don't want to put in extra effort. You're supposed to be easy for them to take advantage of. When you ignore or reject the narcissist, it destroys them. Because they never expected you to do that. But when you do, it bruises their ego. They wanted to be the ones to discard you so that they could play the victim. So that they could gain sympathy and support from other people and start a smear campaign against you. But when you discard them first, it ruins their plan. Now they don't have time to look for new supply. They don't have time to turn people against you. If you discard the narcissist first, they will never forget it. From that point on, any engagement you have with them will revolve around them trying to tear you down. When you try to hold the narcissist accountable for their actions, it destroys their delusional, grandiose view of themselves. It causes a narcissistic injury. Any boundaries, standards or expectations are like kryptonite to a narcissist. If you criticize anything they say or do, it will destroy them. They can't even take constructive criticism. They have to live in their fantasy world where they're perfect. But when you pop their fantasy bubble and pull them back into reality, it destroys them. The narcissist's false self cannot exist in reality. Because it isn't real. It's just something they've made up in their minds. At any time that you get them to reflect on anything to do with reality, it destroys them. When you finally move on with your life, when you're no longer thinking about them, when you begin focusing on yourself again, it destroys the narcissist. They can see that you're doing better without them. And that is when they will pop up in your life again. They will try to hoover you. 
because they can't stand to see you being happy without them. Misery loves company. They hate to suffer in silence. They come around you and try to make you miserable. Because they would be comforted by the knowledge that you are also unhappy. And that's the only reason why they come back. In an attempt to make you miserable just like them. They can't stand to see you moving on and being happy without them. Because they know that is something they will never get to experience. They will never be happy without you. But it's like they have this sixth sense. They just know when you're feeling better. They know when you're doing better without them. And that's when they'll come back. And try to bring you back down to their level again. Because seeing you moving on destroys them. The narcissist will never tell you how much it hurt when you ignored or rejected them. They will never tell you how much it hurts when you criticise them. Or when you move on with your life. They will never tell you how much it destroys them. But just look at their behaviour. Look at how they react to you. Look at how they're still keeping tabs on you. How they come back as soon as they think that you've moved on and you're happy without them. That will tell you everything you need to know. That will tell you just how much this destroys them. But they will never tell you how it makes them feel. They will still try to move on with another source of supply. They will still be looking for something that they're never going to find. The perfect man or woman. Someone to finally make them happy. Something to finally make them satisfied with their lives. But they will never find what they are looking for. What destroys a narcissist more than anything is no longer being significant or relevant to you when you forget that they even exist. Narcissists need attention. They need admiration and praise. And when you forget about them, it completely destroys them. It triggers them to reflect on how maybe they're not as important as they thought they were. And this is when they will do whatever they can to fight for their significance. They will fight to remain relevant in your life again. They will hoover you. They will try to get you to notice them. They will engage in attention seeker behaviour. Whatever it takes to be something significant or relevant to you. But once you've cut the energetic cords to them, they will know that it's too late. They will sense it and then they'll disappear. They'll go quiet because they know that they don't belong in your life anymore. They know that they're not relevant.
And there is nothing that destroys a narcissist more than that. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.